And it's a problem we've talked about a lot here on News Center Maine. The shelters are full and a lot of people just have nowhere else to go. That includes people who grew up right here in Maine. They have children to look after. News Center Maine's Ann Baldridge tells us about a new app that might help find temporary housing. An app called Hip Camp was originally designed to help people find unique camping and outdoor experiences. Has now become a tool to find affordable housing for people who don't have permanent housing. Like the family you're about to meet who went from living in their car to living in a backyard. You're raising a family, there's always going to be tight spots here and there throughout it, but not this. The Garcia family ended up struggling after Dad Jeremy had to have surgery on his knee put me out of work for long enough that bills couldn't be paid for long enough that we had to move into our van at the time that we had. From the van, the family began looking for other places to stay, including places they could pitch a tent. Yeah, we were staying in the campgrounds, but got to be where those were 1,200 plus a week. Then the Garcias discovered a hip camp. And it was 25 bucks a night here. Using the app, the family found a backyard to camp out in for two weeks, but they weren't the only ones. Others showed up too, four large tents in all. At that point where the whole backyard was filled up, they're kind of like, this is a little more than we're willing to deal with right next door. Neighbors on the street weren't expecting it to be the type of campers they were envisioning. And he did ask us if, it, us if it was okay if he did it. And uh, I didn't expect to see basically a homeless family in one tent with two children. The owner of the home who declined to comment on the situation then shut down the backyard campsite. We're not happy with him doing hip camp and having like homeless encampment in his backyard. Nobody's happy about that. However, the Garcias were given the option of renting a bedroom in the house, which they've been doing for the last six weeks. But they found out yesterday they don't have much time left. They've been told they'll have to be gone in a little over a week. If it's nine days and we'll all be sleeping in our vehicle until the summer rates go down with hotels and stuff. Which leaves the Garcias wondering, where do they turn to next? In Saco and Baldridge, New Center, Maine.